So guys, yes, and I was saying I'm um, German. So German was one of our speakers today and Miss Cheryl, Cheryl Sewell. Sewell. Mm -hmm. So guys, Miss um so German was our speaker for today and Miss Cheryl, Cheryl Sewell. Sewell. Yes, she was a nice speaker as well. And listening to these two today, um it was heartwarming ladies and gentlemen because they're going to be an adult so they're adults because them reach 18 and you know once you reach 18 you're considered to be an adult so these young men and women listen big up on yourself and thank I did really thank you for the support and we really like on over today mm -hmm. so peace out guys stay tuned for the video and you will see what I'm talking about okay guys big up on yourself <laughs> So, I want to say a big thank you to the Harchers, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what I want to say also, I love how you guys were so very attent attentive, supportive. supportive, and I feel the love from you guys. You all were well behaved and well manners. Mm -hmm. And I really like I really like that about you guys. So I don't know say it's Shem and it's your boy Jermaine. Yes. So be we want to Big up on yourself. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your encouragement. And me now forget the juice them you know. Look for me Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday. Then mommy will come through with the stallion and them. Buck up in so guys, it's a girl Shem and it's a boy Jermaine. So I did not make an introduction because it wasn't planned. So I didn't want to record this because you may know say this video this sorry this a video it can read somebody out there because listen listening to Jermaine today it's it was heartwarming and the other lady as well I don't remember so guys we're actually at um, um so guys it's november we are doing an entrepreneur speech by Jermaine so actually we are here these are all the students young men and young women growing up Mr. Jeremy Green and Miss Chimica. Chimica. And Mr. Jeremy is very special to us because guess what? Somebody tell me. Yes. 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 Jeremy is one of our oh, these are our past students. Jeremy has a story that he's telling himself. But guess what is amazing about Jeremy? Anybody want to guess which skill he did? You would like to think. He's an electrician, so he might shock her today. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy is one of our past students. Yes, sir. Welcome, 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 I'm really happy to be here again. I really feel good to see all the young faces thinking about head shop and more. You know, when I was most of your age here, we were like a baby still more people say, but when I was your age, 
I wish that um, I focus more on entrepreneur, you know, than everything else I've been doing. Nine to five, you know, hustling. Yeah. So um, I started here in 2006 as um, electrician. I will see the finish, the finish part before actually um, reach the end. So what happened? But then we could take our assessments whenever we feel ready for it. We don't have to wait a specific time. So I was a troublemaker. I used to go to the to the computer room and burn CD and hustle. So all those CDs I used to burn in the computer lab, which was. Illegal at that time. <laughs> you know? So I sell those on the road. Things was really tough, and I didn't want to pressure my, my mother because, you know, she worked hard. So I always tried to find some way to hustle on the side. Yeah. In my mind, that time there was an entrepreneur. Yeah. No, me know the great thing. But it was a stepping stone. It was a stepping stone. You know, um, I finished my course um, like four months. It was a six month course and I finished, finished six months. Still came in six months and they lost me and you know, help more people and really help me. And I resigned as a graduate. Mm -hmm. It was like a job to me. That's how serious I think. So what happened, I started working with, with some electricians. We just leave archers, so why smart, you know? So they put all that work on. Why you hold it for us and keep it? Another time we get the money, problem. Yeah. Problem. They go apply to some work at some big hotel or, you know, like now the backside company side goes. And they're like, yeah, we know you have a nice certificate, but do you have any experience? I said, what am I going to school for, man? <laughs> You know? What we got a school for? What we get experience in the employment? Part of me said, you say, no, I need to do something myself. I'm stubborn. I want to do everything I see everybody else I do. So, I become a security officer. I was curious. Type of pants and combat boot. Bad man, no, you know. Why jump my fence? Probably, you know. Yes, man. So, at several runnings, you know, went to like three weeks um, pre military training with that company and feel like saying, I'm fast now. People come to me and I realized back then that belief, kill and belief, cure. I've been approached with guns and I defend myself. Knife. You know, fist to fist, I mean, how always is the panther. Mm -hmm. From being removed from Ojeris, I was in Dungeon at that time, uh -huh. and sent me to Montego Bay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's one? Yes. <laughs> Another guy named German, that stopped in my head, you know, my cousin, I'm going to see him. They know, I'm going to give up. So, look, looking back now, well, if you said we go um, half moon, yeah. no one be no rookie security of the road again, you know. So we say, I'm not going to go to hospital if you security. Nice, uh, better benefits, you know, health card, everything. As a uh, contracted security, you don't really have much back in the day, you know. Anyway, I was sitting in a guard house one night, I think there was some earthquake in Haiti. Devastated one. Mm -hmm. 20, 2012. Yeah, man, so many of them. And I was looking at to a lot of different um, magazines with wines. Wines from all over the world, but none to Jamaica. The entrepreneur are hard. And then teach me say, anytime you see a problem, you can make a living out of that. Right? Why to solve problems? Why fuck entrepreneurs are yeah. solving people problems? Yeah. So we say no one to go start like wine. Start clean up place the plant, grape too much, then we say, Great not to Jamaica. Why you gonna make wine? 
from a lady because one of the things I do as an entrepreneur, I support other entrepreneurs. So if you sell papaya, for example, and you're not getting any sales, I'll find a way to use it and make one. I have a papaya wine over there too. And I will find a way to pay you and make the wine because my money kind of different. I'm making money in my sleeps while wines are fermenting. You know? And I said, you know what? So over me that day when I was taking the ride there, she said, I can't make wine. You know, I'm like, this lady I know, in a nice BMW, I said, wait, I <laughs> You know? Anyway, she said, take me to your place, I want to see where your manufacturer is, what wines. And um, I took her there, and she looked at them, and she said, wow, I like this. You know, and your place clean, place they good, you know, they never expect me to do this. And your place, do you like this? We like where you are, and we go push you. So they said, told me about a grant that Archos had um, $1 million grant. You know what $1 million one time gave to you know? And me, I said, I could have really push your business. You know, and the hardest thing was to believe that what a, the amount of person that they wanted, the amount of people apply, I would be one of the successful ones. You know, I think they wanted like 12 person at the time from different, sorry, 14 from, from each parish. You know, and I was like, well, we'll try, hopefully. And I applied and I was successful. And I still can't stop thanking Archos for, for not just teaching me here, but you know, for the continuous support of my journey, even today. Because in this video, on a regular day, I would be so nervous to talk to everybody who is in that trouble. Like, just, you know, I'm not good at public speaking until I was trained by Archos and, you know, being in the hospital industry teaches you a lot, so much, you know. So that grant now step up the solar, as I'm a, I'm a solar guy as well, mm -hmm. I do solar quality as well. And just started with the knowledge from my trust, you know. And I step up my solar out of that million dollars. Because it's a cuisine grant, you know, I get fridge, table, chairs, stove, a lot of things that would really help push the one. You know, SDC start pushing me out more, start getting calls from person overseas because of the Facebook page and, you know, Instagram. And I was saying, trust me. But one of the things that happened for my journey, um, I wasn't sure if I should share this, but it's okay. Um, I took a big loan yeah. and started something for myself. Because I tried to pay rent. Ah, small one. Yeah, I was this one. COVID came in, shake up the whole place. So they give give us moratorium, not knowing that more is just a go on. So it's like, yeah, get beer, car, 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 car. So I start selling the wine and now uh, invest back in the wine business. I start using the money to start to be alone because I resigned because I think that I need to spend more time doing what I do. It's good and it, it's, it's good. Sometimes I feel like you're fucking like that, trust me. However, the, the love I have for what I do keep pushing me. You know, and um, when I look at the face of a person who says, why is it now work out with flat? I say, you know, I understand. But guess what? With a beautiful lady like she, my life, she supports me right through. Uh, yeah, and she actually like, pays off the loan. <laughs> um, you know? Yeah, man, so, because of that, you know, we start um, in this rocking and we find things. We're so very so good. And I think we make a great team, you know? And just like we are, just an idea, it's a great team. Yes, man, we make a great team. We're also YouTubers, so we don't mind if we finish. We subscribe. We have a fun though. So we have a fun now. Anyway, because my thing gets so slow, I started doing some fishing. Something I love all the time. I was a little boy, I almost drove when I was a little poor. A little boy, I teach a back where I'm going to sit and fish. So I chuck off over time. Put it in the front of my little piece of stick and I say, I'm going to catch something I want. And I just push it. I run left me. 
Joe. So, so crazy you now that like, I am a fisherman. Hello. Go into that Yeah, at the first time you have a fight, so I was going to come out. No, I'm not going to promote violence. Anyway, I started doing fishing, and they find someone who is in the design and all. So, how much if you want to? So, this one, you know, and this one. Anyway, I started going out, catching fish. So two people put in them out there, people just literally say, come out there and say, wait, how much fish are there? They come to scale the same time, how many is there? You know, and you see it, we pop in a lot of guys. You can't eat fish half thin and lobster and sea cat and all the way to me. Yeah, man, there's a fisherman that's going to have to pay. You know, and um, I do solar here and there. You know, and trust me, from the end of one job and you're nice, you're going to provide. Yeah. So, what I'm thinking you're not going to do as an entrepreneur though, is plant your way. Sometimes some people are going to you know, we have a lot of extortion, we don't see what happens. Well, that's a security theory. We see extortion is going on the market as well. Anyway, see them business is that. But, you know, um, <laughs> yeah man. It's, now, 45 minutes, you've seen you. It's a long story, summarizing and easy. Not really good fun of all of but not try. Me not try. Um, looking back, as I said, um, I dig in this conversation. I wish I started being an entrepreneur early. Because I realized that many people happily work 40 years, 60 years, for a company, you know, whether they're happy or they're never happy, they still do it. But, yes, in the same place. And they resign, and they can't buy a bed, they can't take a two weeks vacation. So, what I'm trying to say is that, no, that you're young, banks are willing to give loans to everyone when you're young. And as a, especially if you're and around 9 to 5, you're 9 to 5, save your money, invest the money, which is wrong. But once you have that income and the bank, say, all right, you qualify for this loan. Some of you here may be able to bake, some can't cook, you know, some can't cook clothes and whatever it is. Believe me, you can come up with your own design, your own market. There's so many things to choose from. But it looks hard to most people because you know, not everyone is willing to spend five years, four years, even two years, because sometimes you can't come to a real fault. You can spend time and build your business. That's all me. You know me and talk about it. But I tell you, sometimes I just lack that thing about it. Be honest with you, it's not just the finished product, because I think I'm actually just at the beginning of my journey. Because I'm very sure. Business and I'm going to start five years. Tell us what you know, want. In the first five years, I'm going to start the next five. There you go. Continue and speak. Just think. Mm, go and talk now. Yes, so um, as I said, most people here tell us that they want to design. You know? Scooby. I was listening to a story with Marco Santa Maria. And, yeah, we did in a while. Um, uh, so, you know, um, where can you talk to you? Um, that man is, you know, really powerful. Yeah, we do. Because I've been able to see you spread bed in a hotel. It's true. You know, and and um, when she met that gentleman, she said, what can I do as a bed? man? said, what you can do? I'm a poor man in your yard. True, you know. All right. You're going to have to be a kid. Baker cookies come and cheer up with everybody. The person who likes to go out to the morning. I don't see that reason there, though. And that lady is going to be like here. They've got to take it now. You know, just a so we try to get out of those so nothing is wrong with that, you know. It's how you want to live. But in the end, most people regret that. So you know that to live life you don't regret. Sometimes it's good to make the wise choice. So I mean, no. So I would encourage everyone here to become producers. You know? As most of you realize producers, I don't want to be holy, 
ideas you have, if you try your best to, you know, get them out there. Sometimes you can take a while and do it under the covers. When you say under the covers, I mean, you're not going to advertise it. You're going to tell all your friends and all your family that, you know, I want to start a clothing business. Spend some time and master your craft. Try and um, create some, some style, for example, you're making dress. You'll, you'll, you'll create some dress and start wearing. People go start seeing and say, wait a minute, this is not me designing. And that could be the start of the organization, you know? And I realize, for me, when we look back, nine to five over the years, it helped me out to pay the bills and everything, but, you know, cut it. You know? When, 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 when I resigned, I didn't want to, to, to do what I'm saying happen now. I'm trying to pretty much. I told my partner about that. You know, some of them will tell us who starts trying. Because we're not being treated well. You know, we cope with it, you know, because we really want the money. But I think we really deserve better treatment. You know? And um, if you're five minutes late for work, crucify, and if you drive and crash, you won't see where my hurry I go. You know, so you can't live to please everybody at all times. You know, you have to learn to please yourself. You know? And most people go to work because they say everybody else has made something they want to make. We don't see a lot of entrepreneurs in our country. Right now, most of us look at entrepreneurs as somebody who have like one shop. But for me, entrepreneur is you have a big enterprise, a big business an arm. You can sit down in your office and open your computer and the work is still being done. So even for myself, a lot of times I say, you know what? This is similar to a 95 that I am doing. Because, as the saying goes, you can cause a thousand people to flee. Or you can cause a thousand people to buy your product. But if two of you work together, you can get 10,000. You know? So just imagine the multiplication going on and the more people you have to your team with the same vision. You know? All of you have the same goal. So, I'm saying this to say that. Um, Entrepreneur, you build a legacy. I'm trying to say you build a legacy, as in something that even after you're gone, is still standing. Because when you create a brand, but we don't really have, no. Most I think in a Jamaica now, overseas and home, from even the very potatoes and tomatoes that we buy at the market. Most people don't want to plan it because they must say, you know what? You know what I said? No money in the plan. You know, but it's a note to something we're going to demand in the last week and I realized our Jamaican products are more expensive than the one that are coming from overseas. You know? And I think one of the main reasons for that is that we're not producing enough, you know? Oh, I think it's scary, but people still love our stuff. I mean, our own Jamaican people rather really spend $500 by a phone on Jamaican potato than they import the one, you know? So, farming, actually, I want to be the biggest entrepreneur thing you can do right now. Because people have to eat, you know? I see a rich man, you know, I see a farming. I see a rich man. So I'm buying up the farm and over here. So I'm built here. My interest. As I mentioned, um, farming. I realize a lot of young people these days already spend time on the phone and scroll. Who will be all night? Call center. PUBG. Here. You understand? And we don't want to farm it. What kind of farm you do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, I'm going to go in and go deep in the farm. Remember, I'm telling you, you know, I'm telling you that. Me prefer the, the rearing of the animals. So you can't do that. Oh, what you know? I'm telling you, 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 I'
You understand? You don't want to get your hands dirty. You know that? All in your mindset. There is something about the road, the road the new part of it, you know. Since as you come out, you have to try to help yourself. You see, if you have to sit down and say, all right, I depend on the government, you have to do something. You have to do something, but you have to do something. You have to recognize your animal pushback. Because it was under this government that I got this grand new watch on. And they associate it. You understand what I mean? So we really appreciate it. I don't expect to know about it. Don't do it. Anybody in your mind talk about your mindset? Yes. We have a problem. Everything is here. We have a problem. And COVID coming. Spam on my rich. Food is expensive. So I'm saying that sometimes you can't live food by the road. And it's just one of them. You know, people want fish every minute they get caught. Now I started doing natural juice. Today I only have Irish much. You know, because I'm mostly going to go Friday. How much do you Irish much? I'm only have seven meals in a boat. The past two days we give one to six kilos. You know? Yes, man. But can I tell you this? I want to have ginseng. A little boat and Irish much. You know, Irish much. No, not this one. I said spread in a boat. I don't have that today. Spread in a macaroon. Natural juice. Not this one. In this study, I'm the one. What happened? No. We didn't call this study. Yeah, man. We put people of life back together. Yeah, I like it. It's not the same. 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 It's and people start you give them sample. And people say, Yo, this is good man. And tell your friend you to all of a sudden. You know, make wine, you have our work, or we have to eat in the car, we have juice. And once we get a break, we have to take one third to follow the juice and we deliver them on the car in the morning. And after that alone, we have to collect more money than what we have to make. For the week. And that means we have to put money from the wine. You know? So while I appreciate working at the hotel and the experience it's given me, you know, because I've always been studying how they do business, because I want to retire that to what I do. And as I said, this is, I see people take up to 50 years before the business really becomes successful. Awesome. Yeah, so when we start to see some results, no one in there. Every day, once a few, one percent better than you are yesterday. I watch what everybody wants. You're making progress. You yeah, understand? So, I got to really a focus plan. We resign from the hotel, start the room with that thing, and we just break one at a time and say, we don't need regular weekly payment, we don't have to do this. But watch what happens now. When we resign, everybody needs to send that child juice out to start calling and say, yo, so I'm going get the juice. No, I'm going to have the juice. Because right now, right now, I can say, I'm getting things I want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, you know, it's all right. You know, people are here, but we can't come to, but we can't do more than one. Because the reason why we resign is to put more time in the wine business. You know, we want to start with a team where we have people who can Trust. It's not always about trust, it's about commitment and sharing the same vision. You know? Anyway, <laughs> every week we go out, and sometimes this is where I'm having a little challenge. Sometimes we trust people too much. Somebody come on and take some product and you should say, Friday I'm paying it, that will pay Friday. Friday come on and you can't afford it. So, you'll find yourself where you start to have different experience. Like, something you want to quit. But you have good for some more clients. You don't trust someone enough, and you don't trust someone enough. You don't trust everybody, and you don't trust nobody. I say, you don't trust nobody. I say, you don't trust nobody. I have days when weeks slow. You know, when you get paid, you have payment last week. And then go to the list and say, well, on the road chart, you see. I don't know, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to put some of them on the car. 
books on me have to go out, but please them. Yeah. You know? But then you have to spend one day now and do the books and start call people and say, hey, you need to get no payment from you. Um, so you have to have some payment. That's why I'm going to do this respect. You know? And first, say, John, what do you mean? You know, say, I think I'm just like, no way I'll tell you now. And they say, yes, me. So we have it now, they say, you can't judge. Mm -hmm. We have it now, so that person is hard to pay now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an equal money now, pay. But sometimes, Shut all we need to do, shop it. Just all we do is one text or a message, and all of a sudden, when some, sometimes a person might have got you a hard time, no pressure on nobody. Sometimes we're preoccupied. Man. Yes, man, we're preoccupied. So, same thing with the wine. Actually, I have people now who owe me like 70 yards, 40 yards, 30 yards, 1,000 pounds of wine. And somebody will try and get their phone. You know? Their social media page locked down. No contact and you're like, and they block you and you don't know what to do. I have this experience here. I like this for this job. I remember when I just started out with the wine, but I'm a top flavor with guava wine. That's actually the first wine I started with. And I remember this day, I started selling her one bottle of wine. 2,000 dollars. Yeah, you know, it was 2,000 dollars at the time. My friends didn't like it, and she said, Jeremy, carry one case from me. I want more to get it. Just keep in your mouth, because you can't get it. Let's sell it, I'm going to get the money. We know, say, like, Superman, it's a little shiny place, say, called consignment. We take your product, and you're going to get a case of this. We sell it. You know, I just heard every month, you're going to get a deposit. Anyway, we reach a point now where Customer call because I'm my number still in the bottle. You don't know, want a couple of cases of this, but I mean, it's so expensive. I mean, I say, what do you mean? They say, it's expensive. I find $2,000 for my bottle. They say, call me, man. Mm -hmm. You do something for your man. Where you buy that? And you tell me, they say, oh, they buy it from me and sell it. You the know, they work for it. You can't tell them how to sell it. But I realize, say, me, the struggle, I'm very little, man. Where is the price? Not like them, but you know, I'm not kind of balance of the business. Because remember, I say, I ain't never been man. No, you have the health itself, you know. But by the little things we don't want, though, and that's another reason. They'll get down dirty hands. You know, good for business. So sometimes you have to just let some things go and make it bad. Remember it, you know. I don't want to see a person who come back again, and you see him, and we learn from him this day. But what we don't know. Let me just say, anybody will have to take a certain amount of wine from me. Sign for it. And that's that. Because it shows too much. And then everybody wants it. And everybody wants it. And everybody wants it. Some of them do deliberately if you don't feel like they hear about it. Yeah, man. Some of them deliberately. Just not the hear about it. Some of them are going to go off one day in a place. And he was about the wine. You know? So the new thing. Yeah, man. No, we have to start out this and we have to buy it back. I'm going to say, seriously. 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 The was full of wine, the man. Everybody you have any new flavor here? Yeah? Uh, wine and pull it. Uh, wine and pull it. You know, my yeah, friends overseas now who say, Jeremy, you know me in Canada and they pull out from back like your wine and they can't find this. No way over at all. Only rope they know from Jamaica, they don't know why. I'm sure with my friend and we only want to have a food. We have the food. You know? So it sure we say it can't work. They're not an expired day. Sometimes, sometimes you get on your face, not now go on as much as card and a few bucks away, and you're good. You know, but you know, really put all the mix in the one bag. So we do all that. Most of the You know, and I don't know which time I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to try to eat at a cheaper price. Rising Jamaica. 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 R
the different um, semesters of trainings. Okay, and every semester after semester, uh, you know, I mean, I was supplying. And even people laugh at me and say, well, boy, trainings, trust your goods. <laughs> you know? <My> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't master that. So I like what he said. I like what he said, you know, about what he was going through and trying different things. And that is, it, that is the key thing about entrepreneur. One of the things that resonates with me is that you, for an entrepreneur, you're doing what you love to do. Yes. Yes. Okay, right? You're doing what you love to do. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and that is very, that, that key point. There's another point that I, I wrote down, and I, I want to relate that point to you, right? And I'm closing. It is, <laughs> right. But, but, no, I, I deliberately, I deliberately hold on to this. Because what? My final word will be cheers to, there were a number of points that you raised, which I could have written down, but this one, I had to write it down. It says, it is not about what you do, right? but what you become in the process. That's a quote that you right. can remember, right? And just put, just put on it that quote, German and Greek. It's not about what you do, but about what you become in the process. Right? And that will hold you uh, in your own business affairs. I am happy for this presentation, seminar, and also seminar today, celebrating Global Entrepreneurship Week. I, today is our day for this seminar and for the presentations that were made. We could have done more, but I believe that we can hold some for later days. So I want to I want to raise my glass and, and say to and say to Mr. Green. I I wish for you, sir, a uh, long life, prosperity, and an expansion of the borders of your business. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Rising. 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 Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
So guys, thanks for supporting Shaman J T V guys. So if I have any friend friends or family or sister, tell them say hey, you know, say I'm a ghost and one channel of support and send them because subscribe to our channel and thanks to everybody who subscribed today i really appreciate it and you know one love peace and love heart heart and love. every time <laughs> bye guys peace out mm -hmm.